Uh, it's Grant Random here at Epicenter 2019 with the one, the only, the Interrupters. Yeah. 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 It's so nice to see you guys. I know, you know, Cullen is a part of our team and he has been so high on you guys. And I've been like learning everything from Cullen. <laughs> so I feel like I, you know, I've been learning by osmosis just by being around Cullen. He's obviously a huge fan of yours and has been thrilled to see like how far you guys have come in just a short time. You know, he's been a supporter of ours since the very, very, very beginning, beginning on Faction and now Faction Punk. And, and the fact that our energy could spew into Octane. Spill. Spill. <laughs> I, I, it's I'm okay with spew. It's I mean, amazing. <laughs> no, no, that we, we could kind of we, we can kind of cross that bounds. I mean, even being at a festival like this with like way heavier bands, everyone's been super welcoming and rad to us, and and it's it's so fun for us. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask because this is obviously kind of more of a rock festival, uh -huh. and then but what I love about festivals like this one is that they are introducing a little spice and a little variety and they're kind of mixing it up a little bit so yeah you're, you're hearing some really heavy bands throughout the day but then you get to kind of go and, and check out a ska band which is not something that a lot of these people maybe get a chance to see so you're exposing a bunch of new people to stuff that maybe they've never heard before yeah I mean also we're like you know we're we're punk punk ska yeah so, well, you know, know ska ska punk ska yeah, punk yeah, yeah. You know, the it's labels. Uh, yeah. I know, the labels are hard. It's definitely yeah. got... But, the, you know, I honestly, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but I'd put her scream up against anybody else on okay. this Okay, all right. When it, seriously, when it comes to, like, you know... The, the, the we're, putting, we're all putting out the same energy. What, how it lands may sound different to people's ears, but I definitely think we're all here for the same reason. And, and I, I, I can back that up. I can say that I have seen you guys live, and your scream is... I, I wasn't expecting it. I was blown away. Amy, wow, so. thank you. Yeah. I just take all that stuff that I press down, I push it down, <laughs> and then I wait till I'm on stage, and I just... Spew it out. Let it out. <laughs> there you go. See, she's there warming up to it. Yeah. I like it. Uh, what, for somebody who doesn't know about you guys, you guys are really tight with Tim Armstrong from Rancid, who's been sort of, I think, a mentor, yeah, could you say? Yeah, produced all three of our albums. Um, we're on his label, Hellcat, which is um, through Epitaph. And yeah, he's been with us since produced, the beginning. And he's produced all three yeah. albums. He's like, he, we call him the fifth interrupter. He's yeah. a really big part yeah. of the team. What would you say if... What, what would be like the best advice would you say that he's given to you guys? Like the one thing that like, I mean, I'm sure, listen, he's told you tons of stuff and you've learned a lot, but what's like the one thing that maybe sticks out? Go Slow ahead, down. Yeah. yeah. We used to play all of our songs very fast. And there was one point in our career where we played a show with Rancid and after it, called us all over and was like you guys need to slow down like, <laughs> you guys sound tight but you're playing way too fast and we yeah. were it was we ridiculous. were we watched videos back of that time and we're like you can't even dance to this you can't <laughs> even hear the song it, yeah we did like how many songs in 20 we would do minutes like 12 or? minutes and a half hour no 12, 12 songs, songs and a half, half hour, hour. Yeah. yeah. What, why were you going so fast? Is it like nerves? Or no. How does that happen? It's because... We <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some nerves. Well, yeah, nerves, nerves. But also because uh, we just kind of felt like faster was harder. We but thought it was tougher. we didn't tougher. realize yeah. that actually when you slow it down, it actually is tougher. Terrified of silence on stage, yeah, too. Just, so we would yeah. just go song, song, song. 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 Yeah. Because you know, okay, so that is kind of terrifying up there. Yeah. Then just people are looking at you like, yeah, yeah. who are these guys? Exactly. What are they doing? We didn't yeah. give them a chance. Yeah. I like it. Didn't even give them I a like chance. that. Just pummel them with music and they yeah. won't have a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Early in our career, if we were lucky enough to get them to start dancing in like a circle pit, we just didn't want them to stop. So Yeah, exactly. You gotta keep it going. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, very importantly, today's Mother's Day. Any Mother's Day thoughts, reflections? well wishes that you'd like to put out there word happy to the mo mothers yeah word to your mothers <laughs> <laughs> happy mother's day to all the mothers yes. yeah. we uh we saw a mother uh crowd surfing earlier we actually got a photo of this uh, mother who's you know maybe even a grandmother who was yeah. up wow. crowd sure. surfing so yeah the mother force is strong here at epicenter oh my gosh that's so rad yeah, yeah we none of us would be here without our mothers yeah right? this is true. Yeah. This is true. Mom, mom's and rock i wouldn't have a band without uh, well, at least their mother yeah. oh yeah so it's, for, for people who are just not you know knowing exactly what's up with the interrupters uh the, the three gentlemen are brothers yes. yeah we have the same mother the yeah. same yeah. the same mother and, and same they, they were the results of the same birthing so yeah. we've got twins in the yeah. band yeah. and very quickly i understand you guys are like psychically connected and i've heard just crazy stuff it actually kind of troubles me because there's like some sort of life force between you two that none of us can relate to yeah yes. i mean we were at one point one being and then we split but they <laughs> never really split. You're, but you're, you're, you're still forever connected. They're yeah. able to communicate without talking. And they, when they, uh, when they were 
they were up until like five or five. Four or five. Uh, we they had, had their own. own language. They had to take speech therapy oh, to learn right. how to speak. I heard speak. this. this yeah. To learn so American English. English, we had to go to therapy. Because they only <laughs> spoke twin, whatever language yeah, that they was. Would, like, was it, each other. We was only it, spoke in backbeats. Uh, or I was going to say, or was it similar to Dothraki by chance? I don't know what that is. Oh, see, so you get. I was going to ask Game of Thrones. We don't. Wow. We don't watch Game of Thrones. But do you want to know why? What is why? that? Is this, this some is sort of a television don't. program? <laughs> <laughs> is this, it, is it, it's, <laughs> a, it's a small little production okay. on HBO. Yeah. I think I've heard the name of you. Right. Mini series, I hear. <laughs> the, uh, the reason we don't watch Game of Thrones is because we're on the road a lot, right? And we don't want to watch, get into it, and then lose the like lose you know the the momentum yeah. okay so what we're waiting for is for it to be over to and the final over, filming, and then once we have a little time off boom start at the beginning i love it lock, lock the door, lock DVD the door. Collection. and you know what a lot of game of thrones fans tell me they're jealous that i haven't seen it they're like i wish i hadn't seen it either and i wish i could be you and start over <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right so we're, we're looking forward to it all right well what's uh, what's next for the interrupters after epicenter after Epicenter, we're going to do um, a festival fest? called Hangout. Then we're doing Sonic Temple. Yeah. Heading over to Europe, doing Slam Dunk in the UK. Oh, and then sweet. Doing some festivals over there, some dates with the Dropkick Murphy, some headline shows. Come back to the States on tour with 311 and the Dirty Heads for the rest of the summer. And then we're going to Japan, playing Summer Sonic in yeah. August. And uh, there's some great bands on that, too. Rancid, Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's going to be a wild, wild time. So it sounds like you're not going to be binge-watching Game of Thrones anytime soon. Not anytime <laughs> soon. Not anytime soon. Interrupters, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, thank it's you a thrill to uh, see you guys, and uh, have a great fest. Thank you for thank having you us. So much.